In this website training video, we're going to cover how to customize the default 2011 theme for WordPress. Here we are on the home page of our WordPress site, and what we are looking at currently is the default theme that comes installed automatically with your version of WordPress. And as it is right now, it looks pretty nice, but some might say it looks a little plain or minimalist. The nice thing about this theme, however, is that there are quite a few options within the WordPress dashboard that will let us customize the appearance of this site so that we can have it more match what we would like it to look like. So here we are inside the dashboard of WordPress, and to access the settings for this theme, we need to go to the Appearance section of the left-hand navigation. And here we see a link called Theme Options. And this contains the top-level options for the 2011 WordPress theme. We have the color scheme, which is set to light, or basically a white background with black text. And we would like to change that up, actually, to the dark theme, which shows us a dark background with light-colored text. All we have to do is click on the radio button to select that. Down below, we have an option to set the link color. And we can see here that we have the default color is set for us with this theme, and it's an orange color. However, you can just go ahead and click on the color swatch to launch a color wheel where we can actually pick a color that is more to our choosing. Happen to like this light colored blue. Perfect. Once we've done that, all you have to do is click outside of the color wheel to hide it. We also have a default layout option, and this is going to set the default layout for our website. Currently, it's set to have the content on the left, and you can see from the little illustration that's in here that we have a header at the top with our main content column on the left and a sidebar on the right. We also have options to have the default set to show the sidebar on the left and the content on the right. Or if we choose, we can have one column with just content and no sidebar at all. In this case, we're going to leave it at the default because we do have the option to change this on a per page and per post basis. So once we're done here, all we need to do is click on the Save Changes button. And we can see up above that our settings have been saved. However, we still have options to change a few more things in this theme. We have the option to change the header of our site. By clicking on this, you can see that we have the ability to upload our own custom image. And we also have several default images that are uploaded for us automatically with this theme. Because we'd like to have a custom appearance to this site, we're going to actually browse our computer and try and find a file that we can use for our header image. Once you select the file that you want to create the header image out of, all you have to do is click on the Open button. And now that we've specified the file we want to get, all we have to do is click on Upload to upload it to the website. Now, because this image is slightly larger than what can actually display in the header area, we're presented with a crop box where we're able to adjust the look of our header to best fit how we would like it to appear on the site. And here we're going to drag this down to include a little bit more of the center of our image. You also have the option to grab any of the corners and you can drag the box to change its size if you want to select a particular area of the picture to focus on. However, we're going to set this back to its full edge to edge so we get as much resolution as possible. And this looks pretty good. Once you're done, all you have to do is click on Crop and Publish. And there you can see a preview image shows what the new picture we uploaded is going to look like in the header of our website. We also have the option to change the background by going to the background options page. And here you can see in a little preview area, we have the background of our site. This box appears empty because the background of the site is actually the same color as the background of the dashboard itself. However, if we wanted to, we could select a custom color simply by choosing from the color wheel. But what we're going to do instead is we are going to upload an image, which we're going to tile into the background. So again, all we have to do is browse our computer to find the file we're looking for. And here I have a file that I created that is specifically designed to tile seamlessly so it can be repeated over and over again to fill the entire background. I'm going to click on Open to open this file. And then all we have to do is now upload it to the site itself. 
Once the image is uploaded, we have a couple of options available to us. We can, of course, remove the background image if we want to try over again, or upload another image. We also have some options to position this, whether we want it to be left, center, or right. Or in our case, we would actually like to set the repeat and change it from no repeat to tile. And you can see in the preview area up above, it shows us what this image looks like when it's tiled. This looks pretty good, so all we have to do now is decide on the attachment of the background. And we have two options available to us. We can either have the background scroll with the page, so it looks as if it's going the same speed as the page itself, or we can choose to leave this background image fixed so that the page content scrolls while this image remains exactly where it is when you first see the site. We're going to go ahead and leave it at fixed for now and save our changes. Up above we can see that our background has been updated and we're going to go ahead and take a look at our site and see what we've done to change it. So here we go with just a few simple changes to the options that are available in the 2011 theme. We have created a completely different look for our website and one that will display photography very attractively against a dark background.